Well, good morning. So, it's day two. I'm out on Daisy Lake, and it's a very beautiful morning. The lake is incredibly still, and uh, yeah, I decided I'd just make my coffee and sit down here by the water edge, relax a bit. So today's going to be a pretty relaxing day. When I was booking this trip, I was having difficulty with the reservation system. It's a long story, but I'll try to make it as brief as possible. Let me book it, but it forced me to book Daisy Lake for multiple days. It was the only way I could do it. So anyway, so I'm here on Daisy for two nights and then do the loop. So pretty relaxing day. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. The weather forecast is uh, calling for rain, possibly even thunderstorm later today. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, probably hang a tarp later on um, over the hammock for sure. That is if it looks cloudy um, and possibly another one. I brought a second one just in case. The weather actually looked half decent for the week, but then this morning, no, nope, not this morning, that was yesterday. Yesterday morning, it showed rain every day. Well, it should be raining right now, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna play with the camera a bit. I brought my zoom lens down to the water. There's loons swimming around, so. Oh, he's sitting out there right now, actually. So I'm gonna try to get some shots of the loons if they uh, come close enough to get a decent shot. And uh, 
I might do a bit of exploring. I know Daisy Lake, so it's not really exploring, but, you know, go for a paddle. I might, I might not. Uh, I'm doing it tomorrow anyhow, and so we'll see. Uh, also want to do some type of video for my Knot channel. I already started you know, focus on uh, some applications of the taut line hitch. So probably do that. Yeah, you know, I got a lot going on in life. And so it's actually not bad having a day where I can actually do nothing if I choose to. Okay, well, it's past midday, probably two o'clock now. I've had some lunch and, uh, yeah, did some filming for the Knot channel, like I said. Um, I set up a lean-to tarp shelter, but the winds picked up a fair amount, so I decided to change that to a low-profile uh, plow point or diamond, and uh, I'll show you in a second. You can see. So, basically, I've got the one end up, and then the opposite corner down, and then the two sides uh, tied off as well. That's going to provide maximum shelter if it does start to rain. Now, the thing is, forecast was actually for thunderstorms today, chance of thunderstorms, and it was supposed to start, like, around now and I think go through the evening. So that's what I want to prepare for. I don't mind if it, you know, I don't want to jinx myself, but I don't mind if we have a good rain. If I have a good rain now, chances are there won't be a heavy rain tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be paddling down the Petawawa River, so I'd rather have a clear day tomorrow or as clear as possible. So if we could get it over with while I'm stuck at camp, then, you know, I'd prefer that. So, yeah, I guess that's the update, you know, basically just taking it easy now and, uh, you know, sheltering everything so that it does feel humid and rainy and the clouds have, uh, arrived i don't know if the gopro will show the clouds really but you can see the sky so the clouds blew in probably half an hour ago um, at the moment the wind has come down so but regardless, I'll leave the tarp down where it is. I packed everything that's dry into my dry bag as well and stowed it under the tarp. So that way, uh, you know, my life jacket and, you know, everything. The only thing that's really out is uh, some of my cooking stuff and my chair. I'll put the chair under there as well if it starts to rain. I've got firewood underneath the canoe. I'll put a bit more under there. Uh, or under the tarp and yeah and then I'll be ready for it so you know yeah I'm not used to sitting around at camp all day I think I'd rather be moving but that's all right maybe I'll have a nap